140. Launch enabled. 137. FTS arm. One twenty. OC is armed. FCS count started. EDS ascent. One minute. Rock report range status. Range green. Fifty four. PLP started. Alice at light press. Thirty. Centaur at flight press. Twenty five. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. SRB chamber pressure looks good. PU has gone to close loop control. Pitch over is complete. The RD-180 is now throttling down to maintain acceptable dynamic pressure limits on the vehicle. All systems continue to look good. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Atlas is now four miles in altitude, one mile downrange distance. All systems continue to look good. Mach 1, Atlas is now supersonic. The RD-180 is now beginning to throttle up. Engine response looks good. Vehicle attitude rates are well controlled. Angular rates are near zero. We've had SRV burnout, and the RD-180 has throttled back up to full, full thrust, and your response looks good. Atlas is now 16 miles in altitude, 10 and a half miles downrange distance. Booster systems continue to look good at this time. Atlas V weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,800 pounds per second. Standing by for SRB jettison. And we've had indication of good SRB jettison. Vehicle is now executing closed loop steering. We have approximately two minutes remaining in the Atlas booster phase of flight. The RD-180 is now throttling down slightly, as expected. Engine response looks good. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Atlas systems continue to look good at this time. Vehicle is 38 miles in altitude, 79 miles downrange distance.
Now at T plus 209 seconds, we have one minute to BECO, one minute to boost range and cutoff. The RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 3.5 G acceleration limit. The RL-10 engines have now begun their boost phase chill-down sequence. Last few seconds of booster flight. We have BECO booster engine cutoff. And we have indication of a successful stage separation event. Restart on the RL-10s. And we have ignition. Vehicle has executed closed loop guidance. And we have indication of aeroskirt jettison. This first and only burn of the Centaur upper stage engines will last just over seven minutes and will place the Centaur and star laner in a suborbital trajectory. Upper stage systems continue to look good at this time. The engine propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control. Engine response remains nominal. We just received, we received word that booster performance was above nominal. It's like we had a very good booster flight. At this time, we're seeing the propellant utilization system on the upper stage, driving the mass error in the propellant tanks to near zero. PU system operation looks good. We are now just under seven minutes into flight. Five minutes remain in this burn of the upper stage engines. The RL-10 engines continue to look good. Chamber pressures continue to look right down the middle of the expected band. We're seeing minimal activity on the RCS system as expected. The RCS firings are driving loop temperatures to near bottle temperatures as expected. We are now at T plus nine minutes. Correction, T plus eight minutes. At this time, the Centaur is at an altitude of 102 miles. 
downrange distance of 1,075 miles. Powered autopilot is performing well. Vehicle attitude rates are near zero. We are now just under 10 minutes into flight. We have two minutes remaining until MECO 1. Both RL-10 engines continue to perform as expected. Upper stage systems are stable. PU system on both engines continues to operate as expected, driving mass error to near mass error to near zero. One minute until Miko one. The PU system has gone open loop in preparation for all 10 cutoff. And we have Miko 1. Both RL-10 engines have shut down. At this time, the Centaur has entered a coast phase. Separation of Starliner will occur in approximately three minutes. Vehicle is now turning to its separation attitude. Upper stage systems are operating as expected during this coast phase. Just about two minutes remaining until Starliner separation.
vehicle attitude has settled 